Plasma. The word sounds like something taken from science fiction. However, plasma is a very real substance that's not just interesting to physicists. Health professionals are increasingly interested as well. At the Leibniz Institute for Plasma Science and Technology, Professor Klaus Dieter Weltmann and his colleagues are involved in researching plasma for medical science. Physicists often refer to physical plasma as the fourth state of matter. The first state of matter is solid, the second liquid, the third is gas, and if you want to get to the plasma state from this gaseous state, you simply need to add energy. Energy input happens in so-called plasma sources. These devices ionize air or other gases with electronic fields in a tube and produce cold plasma, which, among other things, is used to treat skin. We at the INP do not work so much with air, we work with the noble gas argon. This noble gas makes it possible to achieve very accurate control with the plasma sources in medicine. The gas and the entire reactive gas species that are involved in wound healing or other processes need to be controlled. This cannot be achieved with air, which always has a certain amount of moisture that is different in Berlin compared to Munich, for example. Plasma medicine is a relatively new field, whose applications need to be intensely put to the test. In terms of risks, you can sum it up as follows, as we know it from pharmaceutical products, for instance. No effect without side effects. We have studies in Germany that were conducted using plasma for treating chronic wounds that resulted in no adverse effects representing a risk. Needless to say, these study findings need to be expanded in the future, meaning we need more data. However, the data we have already has a foundation of nine years with several hundred patients from all over Germany. At the University Hospital Greifswald, Dr. Georg Deschlein uses plasma to treat wounds and skin infections. For starters, plasma has one main effect that is globally well documented and referenced. It's the antimicrobial reduction of lawns of bacteria on the wound, biofilms and also individual bacteria. This is important for the healing process and can also restart a stagnating healing process. Other factors are stimulation of tissue and relevant cell division that are simply essential for wound healing. This is meant to produce new cells and provide new mediators, so the physiological healing process can be carried out productively from start to finish. Plasma works against most known infectious pathogens. Many of them have not been specifically tested yet, which is why I'm not able to say that it works for combating all of them. However, it is very effective against all those that have been tested. It kills the pathogens within a few seconds and simply removes the initiating agent from the infection site. Plasma treatment is not just contactless and thus gentle, it also has various effects on skin. Compared to conventional types of therapies, plasma treatment can truly compete with antiseptics against microbial infections of skin and wounds. It can definitely compete with antibiotics because you can treat things locally in this case and do not have to take pills. Plasma has benefits in the treatment of infectious diseases, cancer and inflammation by not just being able to combat pathogens and repress cancerous tumors. It can also primarily combat hypersensitivity reaction to allergens and positively influence pain sensation or paresthesia. Die Hypersensibilisierung bekämpfen kann durch Allergene und auch die Schmerzempfindung, die sensitiven Missempfindung auch vorteilhaft positiv beeinflussen kann. The technology is still at the beginning stages of its development, but it could soon be an integral part of medicine. Currently, plasma medicine is at a point that can be called the start of a new technology, just like laser medicine was several decades ago. That means there are approved devices in Germany, and they have use in everyday clinical settings ahead of them. They have arrived in the hospital, and now people work on expanding data sources. Die Plasma medicine 
Over the next few years, plasma medicine can practically take on brand new fields in medicine, for instance in the treatment of recurrent infections and mycosis. It can achieve things that simply cannot be achieved thus far because there are always relapses that are very expensive and frustrating for patients. It can cost-effectively lead to success by simple means and in a short amount of time. Thank <laughs> you.